We are going to the McMillan Estate. Now we are gonna be rocking my tournament setup, man, because of skill-based matchmaking. I'm gonna show you guys a strategy. If you get into these high MMR, I'm like max MMR with Freddy, so every game is going to be a sweat fest, but we're doing uh, No Ed, Ruin, Frank's Demise, and Thrilling Tremors because I have no other choice. I see scratch marks, all right, we got Dwight here. Now, because of the lobby, these guys had flashlights, so I had to put on Franklin's Demise. You're going to have to do the same thing, too. Surprised he didn't try to blind me right there. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to show you guys a strategy that I've been using that works really well. We'll follow this guy a couple times. So we got Claudette over there. So there's two that, that are on generation. He's probably looking for the totem. We're just going to loop, it looks like, for a little bit. We'll drop some snares here in a little bit. I see her right here. Don't want to get into endless chases and loops, especially in these tournament lobbies. You see how they all have flashlights? Can't play like that. Make sure she just dropped the flashlight. Making sure it works properly. All right, get them off the gen. That's 200%. Uh, what do you call it? Regression? Right when I get to them, they're right where they need to be. I, I mean, I tried to lunge through that, but I, it's nothing I can do. But we can get these pallets out the way for late game. So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys something that you're just gonna have to. You're gonna have to do it my way, okay? If you want to win in these high level games, you're gonna have to do it my way. If I can get these people down, but they're doing a really good job of looping. But it's all good. It'll all work in my favor with my strategy. We'll eventually catch this girl. Drop it. Okay, we'll get rid of this one. So they got a gen done. My ruin's still up, so I'm good. Just just stay with me, bros, okay? I, I don't hesitate until until all the gens are done and the doors open. Let's get rid of this pallet. Boom. Alright, it's another gen done. We're, we are being, I see my totem over there, so we're in good shape still. Make sure you guys drop a like in case I forgot about that. Okay. Back her up. Back her up. Here we go. Exactly. Now we get to our little advanced movement. Unless they found their flashlights, they both shouldn't have one. So we'll put this girl. I see where they're at over here. Now, here's the strategy. I think I heard somebody. Okay, I hear him right here. Someone's here. Okay. Oh, I see Dwight over there to my right. How do we want to play this? He's trying to get his atten my attention so he can come. They can come get this girl. Oh, look, one's in here. Drop your flashlight, bro. Everybody's got flashlights. Nice. Okay. All right. You know what? Okay, this is what we'll do. We'll pick her up and take her to another hook instead of the basement. See if I can get a hit on this guy. Drop your flashlight. Okay. All right. They're going to pick the girl up from the basement. We're going to put this girl on a back hook. We're going to try to shift the momentum of the game between two hooks. Okay. She's got borrowed time. She's going to try to serve me here, but I'm not going to buy it. Okay. Now I can chase her. Now we can do this. Ooh, almost. It's all good, though. All right, so we're worried about the guy on the hook. We're going to focus our attention. Not tunneling. Don't worry about the words tunneling and face camping no more. That's with skill-based matchmaking. Don't even worry about that. Now we have to play to the best of our strategy because good survivors will always beat a good killer unless you implement the proper techniques, okay? So with Ruin still up there, I'm still in good shape because if they leave a gen easy if they leave a gen to come save this girl the gens regress now it'll be a different situation if the ruin was down but the ruins up so every time they leave their gen to come save someone it just helps me all right one two hook all right they got her off the ball's in my court now you guys see what's happening Right, we let him go. Come down here. This is what, what I'm talking about right here. And she can go down. Making sure she has borrowed time. Let's see. Yeah, she got borrowed time. Okay. Trying to blind me. I'm going to chase him out of here. 
Oh, nice down. Okay. So these guys are a team. They're working together. And that's going to work to my advantage because I'm going to force them to start saving instead of working on gens. You guys get what I'm saying? Someone's right behind me. I heard the... Oh. Okay, this guy's in the doorway. He's probably trying to stun me. But he's in there. But I'm going to come down here because I know they want to save her. Unless he's down there. No, he's up here. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, she's dead. Let's go. All right. I don't want to get stunned right here. I'm just going to open it. Turn away. Go back to the basement. Tried to blind me. You may have to use Lightborn. All right. I know the girl's down there. There's a girl down there, and that's just going to help my situation. If I can get the guy up here, we'll be in good shape. Okay. I know she's down there. She's going to save her. So I got two below me, which means I don't really have to move. Okay. I, I hear her opening up the door but under me. I was trying to hit her for borrowed time, but the flashlight would stun me and they'd get, they'd get past me. Trying to get her flashlight to run out. One down. I'll hook her unless she has decisive still. One of them. Okay. Did she stay down here? <laughs> oh, man. They started off pretty good, too. Oh, look at this. She's dead. Now they know they're they can't they can't. The only thing they can do, and this is what's happened to me a lot in high skill based matchmaking, is when I down one, one's below me. They're gonna one's gonna disconnect, the other one's gonna escape through the hatch. You see down there? This is skill based matchmaking, bros. But luckily, like I know what I'm doing. Because if not, and I had this high MMR games, bro. Yeah, that guy disappeared to look for the hatch, so this girl's just messing around. She wants me to down her so she can probably disconnect. Let's see. Let's see. Well, I'll come out here and try to look for him, but I already know what's going to happen. Bro, it happens consistently. The survivors cheat when they get outplayed. It's not really cheating. It's just... It just happens. So, they give us a bad, bad look for tunneling or face camping, but then they do stuff like this, bro. You know? Unless he's trying to do it, I don't think. Nah, he's at the hatch somewhere, bro. He's looking for it. Oh, he picked her up. All right, let's go. Oh, no, she disconnected. Oh, she had Unbreakable. All right, so yeah, Th this happens all the time. Make sure you guys drop a like. Sorry, like these are my games now, man. Like this is what it is. There it is, man. Drop a like. Love you guys, man. Peace.